Sue, you kind of came up with the with the parameters of this draft. So why don't you explain sort of what we're drafting here today? Movies that when they come on TV, you got to watch them. You know what I'm saying? Some of these are going to be very notable and some of these are going to be very obscure. I'm just saying that because I got my list right here. I'm looking at it and I'm like, God damn, does anybody know who Michael Dudikoff is? Mira, you start. Sue, you're second. I'm three. JJ's four. I'm back. My number one draft pick, most people would say Friday, but I went with next Friday. Yes. How often is next Friday on TV? Yo, uh, if you are on basic cable, dog, probably like three times a week. There's so many quotables, man. Like, she know all the snacks before they come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that stuff. You know what I mean? How do you spell Versace? F-O-Sachi. You know what I mean? Like, no more locked doors, Holmes. All that. You know what I mean? It's on a loop in my brain. <laughs> I'm going to go Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Ooh. It's a classic comedy. You can't shut it off. Wow. I can't That's, a live. That's a good choice. <laughs> I can't. Still goes. This is the one with the Dolphins kicker, right? Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. The second one is horrible. The second it one is unwatchable. Is the second one where he crawls out of the elephant? Yeah, yes. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Guano! Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was not it. But the first one was fire. Yeah. We did a draft with Tyler Hero where we drafted best characters from Miami. And JJ and I, one of us picked Ace Ventura. Yeah. And Tyler had literally never heard of it. He had never heard of the movie. Yeah. Never heard, he barely heard of Jim Carrey, to be honest. I, don't think <laughs> I was like, I think my kid is older than Tyler Harrow. My kid is in middle school. <laughs> this is this is the most rewatchable movie of all time. Remember the Titans. Oh, wow. Number okay. one, it is, if that movie's on TBS at 1 a.m. and you get home, you're watching the end of it. I've only seen it like twice. <laughs> Oh God! I watched. I rewatched it recently, and I was struck by how terrible that one scene is, where they're getting all the penalties called, and and the coach, you know, huddles him up, and he's like, "Leave no doubt." And there's the scene where Bortier like stops mid play, and he points at the other coach. It's a, that if he took out that scene, it'd be a really good movie. There was a strong consideration for me to just to draft five Christopher Nolan movies for this. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised it's not happening. All right. Uh, my number one pick, I'm going Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And my second pick, I'm going with Fight Club. Okay. Ferris Bueller, Ferris Bueller, is, make, that checks out. Fight yeah. Club, it's kind of weird you would watch Fight Club that many times, to be honest with you. I think I would watch Fight Club more than I would watch Ferris. Yeah, Again, this is a per this, these are personal choices. Listen. I would say that watching Brad Pitt shirtless, and I'm not like whatever, but like he's just... <laughs> He's amazing in that movie. He he's, a, he's a very sexy man. Like, yo, fam, I'm going to say it right now. Brad Pitt is a sexy motherfucker. Isn't Brad Pitt like 67? All right, number two, I'm going The Fugitive. Ooh. Ooh. One. That movie's on TV all, all the, the fucking time. time. All yeah. the time. Solid. It's a fine pick. All right, I'm going to go Catch Me If You Can. Great mm. one. Yeah, strong choice, strong choice. I got two. Okay, so I'm going to go Saving Private Ryan. Duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing needs to be said about that. That's a masterpiece. Shout out to Spielberg, you know what I'm saying? The God, you know what I mean? Shout out to Tom Hanks, you know what I'm saying? Delivering a powerhouse performance. Shout out to Vin Diesel, who I forgot was in fucking Saving Private Ryan. And I'm just like, yo, damn, Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel's out here acting, bro. He's not just like screaming at cars. So that makes it a strong pick, you know what I'm saying? And then right after that is Independence Day with Will Smith, because in that movie, if you recall, Will Smith punches an alien dead in the fucking face. <laughs> to me, that was like, as a child, I was just like, bro, if Will Smith could punch an alien in the face, I could do anything in the world. You know what I'm saying? And now here we are with the number one show late night. <laughs> and then he drags him like five miles. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm just here chilling with JJ and Sue Bird on some regular shit on a Zoom. You know what I'm saying? Tommy here, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Might end up in Hawaii. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what the what's fuck your, what? the Hawaii have to do with that? Yeah, what's your Nothing. Oh. All right, Sue. Um, I'm going to go coming to America. Swish. Every time we draft with Sue, she I know I, I didn't love her first she, pick, but like the last two us. picks are just elite. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, going legally blonde. Ooh, I like okay. that one. When you hop into that one, it's yeah, you're in, you're in. Yeah, oh, just strap man. in dog. You ain't going nowhere. Uh, they need to remake. I actually know they don't need to remake it because it's great, but I'm surprised they haven't remade it with Jennifer Lawrence. Yo, don't steal that idea. <laughs> Legal <laughs> Blonde <laughs> remake with Jennifer Lawrence. EP <laughs> uh, Along the same lines as Tommy, I'm going to go with Mean Girls. And then I'm going to go with Two Towers. 
Lord of the Ring, Two Towers. The fight scene in that is one of the most epic fight scenes in any movie to me. Like when I see it on, on I'll, I'll switch it on and I'll just wait for the fight scene and then I'm out. It's like a 45 minute fight scene. And every time you see me make this face, that means I have no idea what movie you're talking about. <laughs> you didn't watch any of the Lord versus? of the Rings it's movies? It's an none, bro. None. Zero. Zero. I'm not doubting the popularity of both the book and the film, both massive successes, but it's a very it's, huge. Specific, it's a very specific audience. So if you're not in that audience, you don't care. I mean, Tommy with the no, challenge flag. It's, not that it's, it's the, the movie. 45 <laughs> minute fight scene. It's the most rewatchable shit ever. God. Right. Hit <laughs> with a with a marrow. Okay, now I'm gonna pick my Oscar movie, Casino. I I wouldn't say that it's better than Goodfellas because Goodfellas is one of the best movies ever. But Damn I would, it. but I would say it's in the conversation and to be at the same level as Goodfellas. Also, I think like that might have been Joe Pesci's like best, like Joe Pesci. You know what I'm saying? Like Tommy, that's that's your best pick of the draft so far, and it's in the fourth round, as we always say. Good, good value. Good value. <laughs> good good value. value. So this one is a personal fave. I think everybody likes it, though. This is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Karate Kid. Oh, just you got to make sure it's like, like not the Jada Smith one. That happens to me all the time. I'll be like flipping through, flipping through. I'll be like, oh, shit, Karate Kid's on. Boop. Ah. Oh. All right, let's go. I have my girl. Yo, <laughs> if you don't cry. Yo, let me tell you something. If you don't cry when Macaulay Culkin gets stung to death by bees and he can't find his EpiPen, <laughs> You have no soul, B. You don't have a heart, B. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was in there fighting for his life against them bees. And Home Alone, the OG, the first one. I don't think you watch Home Alone in like March. It's like it's only on a certain amount of it's like if it's November to December, yeah. But like Tommy, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand for 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 Mare on this too. Home Alone was the first non-animated movie that we showed Knox, my oldest. And for like three months, that's all he wanted to watch. But he called it Boy Alone. Boy Alone. I want boy to watch Alone. Boy Alone. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the a wild like Sundance indie movie. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you guys a very quick Macaulay Culkin story? That's actually oh. not necessarily about the actual Macaulay Culkin. When Megan got into her little like whatever with President Trump, my sister gets a text message and it goes, Tell your sister's boyfriend, Macaulay Culkin, to shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Tell your sister's boyfriend, Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> he shut his mouth. We were dying. Now she got to Cul- dress up like Macaulay Culkin for Halloween, dog. This bozo just gave you a free, yeah, free, free Halloween idea, goofy. Oh, we were dying. <laughs> All right, Sue, close it out. Oh, I'm torn, but I'm going to go with a safe one, which is... Gladiator. Ooh. In As James fifth, Winston would say, scroll. I'm jealous of your list. I'm not jealous of Tommy's, <laughs> but I'm jealous of your list. <laughs> I'm about to pick my fifth round pick. One of the best movies of all time. Probably in the top three movies of all time. The Social Network. Mm. Yeah, hard pass for nope. me on that one. I think it's rewatchable. Top three movies of all time? What are we I think saying? it's one of the best movies. I think it's one of the best movies ever. I feel like if we go through like the IMDb credits in there, like Tommy's in the credits in there somewhere. <laughs> so he's just like, yo, he's like, yo, <laughs> executive, executive producer, Tommy Alter. <laughs> it's a good, it's a really good movie. I think, you know why? I think Tommy saw it on a list of the best movies from the last 20 years. And it was like, number one, somebody picked <laughs> it know, number one. Just, and he's just fucking <laughs> latched onto that for the last ah. two years. Is that what you're doing, bro? Is you just Googling top 20 Not- best movies bro, of all time? Yeah. And I'm over here digging in the crates? Legally Blonde was my third round pick. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, I opened up a duffel bag full of VHS tapes for this. All right, JJ, which no one, which no one, which no one, what are you closing it out with? I think you got to go, you got to go with The Dark Knight. As the as as the most sort of rewatchable, pick up any at any point in the movie and enjoy the ride. Back when it came out, I mean, I, I saw it four three or four times in the first two days it was in theaters. I went back to back one day. That's how much I liked The Dark Knight when it first came out. I think everybody had great list. I think I think honestly, everybody won this. Um, we appreciate the time. You guys are awesome. Shout out to JJ being like the little league coach, being like, "Yo, you won, you won, you won." Everybody, <laughs> y'all, y'all did job thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody, everybody had a three for three day. Everybody had a three for three day. Everybody Let's got go, a base. baby. Let's go. <laughs>